a look at City Field this Saturday night. Part of an emotional day filled with so many memories of the events from 20 years ago. Everyone in this place is standing. This is tough. Right now, Mets and Yankees players have come together near the home plate area and onto the field, similar to September 21st, 2001, when the Mets and Braves shook hands and shared hugs before the game. The Mets and Yankees are doing that as well. An incredible scene of unity between the two teams, the Mets and the Yankees, ahead of tonight's game. 45,000 hours of looking out there, you feel like every one of the 45,000 people had some kind of effect on 9-11. Somehow, some way, it feels like a 45,000 of the family here tonight. This is a magnificent sight, just a magnificent sight. The Mets and the Yankees will represent much more than their baseball teams. They'll represent the city and the sport and how much those two go hand in hand. They'll take the field together tonight. Here is the big right-hander, Taiwan Walker, who has really struggled since the All-Star break. Overall record of seven and nine, but all seven of those wins came before we congregated in Denver, Colorado. E.J. LeMahieu leads it off, a leadoff walk. Gardner's the batter with LeMahieu at first. One ball, two strikes on Gardner. Pitch. Swing and a looper toward right center field. Coming in for it, Pilar. He settles under. Makes a catch one-handed as Gardner flies out for the first out of the game. LeMahieu returns to first. And Aaron Judge will be the batter now. Judge swings and misses. Strike three. The pitch by Taiwan Walker. A slider had Judge chasing. Walker gets the first strikeout of the night for the Mets. Another giant, John Carlos Stanton with two outs. Adds up the middle for a base hit. LeMahieu will turn and stop. First and second, two out. Here's Anthony Rizzo with two on and two out. One, two. Swing and a bouncer softly hit to the mound. Walker's got it, throw to first in time. And Taiwan Walker works a scoreless top of the first. Right-hander and two-time Cy Young Award winner in his days with the Cleveland Indians, Corey Kluber. Yeah, he has reverse splits right now, meaning left-handed batters do not have success off of him, but right-handers have. And so he's going to have to make sure that he's able to handle the right-handed batters that are in the lineup. Jonathan Villar to lead off, switch it to batting left. And Burn. strike three over the inside corner, and Villar thought he had walked. The home plate umpire, Angel Hernandez, is always in the <laughs> middle of something. I think Angel's gotten that reaction, oh, I don't know, about 17 million times in his major league career. So one out as Lindor will be the batter, batting left-handed against the righty Kluber. Into left field, should be handled as Stanton goes to get it. Kluber comes back from a 3-0 count to get Lindor, and that's out number two. As Michael Conforto bats here with two outs and nobody on. Rips it into right for a base hit, and a two-out single by Michael Conforto. The Mets will have Pete Alonso come to the plate here. There's the 2-2 to Alonso. Struck him out swinging, and that ends the first. So leadoff hit. One out, and now Kyle... Higashioka will be the batter. He does have pop, but we got to hit better than 176. Hit in the air to left field and deep. Back goes McNeil on the track. He's at the wall. She's gone. Kyle Higashioka, the home run stroke on it. The Yankees take a 2 0 lead. Well, this yeah. inning will keep going for Brett Gardner. Swung on and hit in the air to deep right. Back goes Conforto on the track. At the wall. She's gone. Oh, let the Guardy party begin. And the Yankees take a 4 0 lead on two two run home runs by two guys who would be the least expected. Now the batter is Aaron Judge. Try to sneak his fastball by Judge. That's a dangerous proposition. High fly ball. Yankees and that's the problem trying to sneak a fastball by Mr. Aaron Judge and the Yankees with three home runs in the inning and all of a sudden one guy does it and then everybody else follows and the Mets get a good start to their second inning a one out by is in scoring position Kevin Pillar's the batter now that's ripped toward the left field line. That's a fair ball. It bounces in and over toward the corner. Baez rounds third and scores. The Mets are on the board. The Yankee lead is now 5-1. to one. Now, all of a sudden, you kind of chip away a little bit. James McCann will be the batter. High fly ball into right. Back at the wall. There it is. Off the wall. Judge missed it. 
And the Mets have gotten two here in the bottom of the second. Well, I'm here to tell you, if Judge can't get it, nobody can. Walker with the infield in, looking for his first RBI. Line drive, pace hit, right field. McCann scores, and the Mets have come right back. After the Yankees scored five in the top of the second, the Mets have three here in the home end. It's the bottom of the third, as the Mets trail the Yankees five to three. Well, two-way, and here is Baez. Baez hammers one in the air. That's deep to left down the line. It's gone. Home run, Javier Baez. And it's a one-run game. The Mets were down 5-0. Now it's 5-4. to four. Walker's made it through five innings despite that five-run second. He's retired 10 in a row. It's 1-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Like Tywall Walker has really done an excellent job tonight considering the three homers allowed and the five runs in the second. Since then, he has retired 13 straight, and he has still given the Mets six innings tonight. That is very well done by Taiwan Walker to shake that off and give the Mets some length. Here's an interesting managerial decision by Aaron Boone to go to Chad Green here in the sixth. The momentum has switched, and I think Aaron Boone wants to kill that momentum right now. Again, it's a high fly oh. ball, left field. This is deep. Stanton back near the wall. It's gone. Home run. James McCann, and the Mets have the lead. Down 5-0 in the second. The Mets have come back, and they lead 6-5. Now the Mets threatening a bit. Runners on the corners for Kevin Pillar. Pillar lines a base hit to left. Javier Baez scores. There's a big insurance run for the Mets. They have a 7-5 lead. Lead off man on for the Yankees here in the eighth. First base runner for the Yankees. Since Aaron Judge homered in the second, there had been 16 in a row retired. Yankees need a jolt. High fly ball to left. Is it going to be enough? Back at the wall. Game tied. His second home run of the game. And this ties the game at seven. There's the jolt. Yep. The Yankees have two on with one out, and Luke Voigt will pinch it. Might be two. Weird hop. Good play. Out at second. Bad throw. Here comes the runner. And Velasquez slides across as the Yankees regain the lead. That's the other side of Javi Baez. Well, here you go, Pete. Stage is set. Alonzo will bat with two on and two out. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep to center field. Back goes Gardner. He's at the track. He makes the catch. Alonzo just oh. missed. Look at Pete at first base. Dejected. Mm. Well, the new pitcher is Araldis Chapman, and Aaron Boone has said that they are going to get him in there after closer opportunities. And to right, Judge, run away. Aaron Judge is homer twice tonight. And he makes a diving catch to start the bottom of the ninth. Davis advancing to third. And now two outs. James McCann is due up. A high pop to right field. There's Judge. Judge is there. He makes the catch. Ball game over. Yankees win. The Yankees win.